Hello everybody and welcome to another StarCraft 2 cast. My name is Osborne and I'll be bringing you this Terran vs. Zerg matchup on the Shakuris Plateau. Today's matchup we have, in the northwest corner of the Shakuris Plateau, playing Terran and wearing red, we have Drusef and his opponent BMing the crap out of every single person he's ever seen in his life. I can only assume we have playing Zerg and wearing blue, Fumirkal. Fumirkal. Miracle. Okay, well, whatever. He's kind of a dick, I'm seeing. So we'll have to see what kind of dickish things that he does in this game. I can't imagine he would do anything but some kind of very, very bad mannered cheese, or, you know, maybe he's just uh, not a very nice person, didn't get enough hugs as a child, didn't have the love of his father, had to go to stripping. I mean, it doesn't have, doesn't mean not only, girls aren't the only ones with daddy issues, I guess. But in any case, we've got the standard fare for the uh, Terran player. We've got that, he's not scouting with that, uh, with that Supply Depot building SUV that is usually what you see. This is a diamond level matchup, so not going to be too bad with the build orders he's got. The refinery coming up right after this barracks, and that is going to be exactly what you want. 13 is when the refinery needs to go up. 12 is when the barracks needs to go up, unless you're doing a silly, silly build, such as like the 11-11 or like maybe a 12-14 barracks against Zerg on Shakuris Plateau. It's not too bad against them, actually. Shakuris Plateau is probably one of the better ones because the ramp to the natural is pretty small. It can be covered in three bunkers and just the marines can just stand behind the SCVs building the bunkers and make sure that any of those drones that are obviously going to need to be pulled don't do any damage to the marines those vital vital marines and also the SCVs if they happen to be behind the bunkers at the time early gas well I guess not early it's pretty standard uh, I think it was a 15 pool 15 or a 15 hatch 15 pool so uh, put that Extractor up, put in three. He's got almost a hundred minerals mined, or not a hundred minerals, but a hundred Vespian gas. So, should be coming up right now. Almost. Actually, what did he spend the? No, here we go. What did he take? He took it out beforehand. That's kind of strange. But he's got the gas for it now. So we'll have to see what happens. He has taken all of the harvesters out of the gas, as you want to do. And it looks like he's going to start right now. Okay, so mm, four minutes. Is that a good time for a uh, Zergling speed? I don't really know. I don't play Zerg. I have to do more research on such subjects. Anyway, we've got Drusiv kind of spazzing out his uh, SCV over here. I can only assume he's going to try and do an expansion right about now. And there it is. 400 minerals. Expansion. Diamond level play, guys. This is what it's all about. This is what everyone strives to be until they strive to be masters, until they strive to be grandmasters, until they strive to be a pro, until they strive to be someone who can make money off of this game. Let me tell you this right now. Probably won't be me. Probably won't be you. It probably won't be anybody you know. But I hope it is because this game is great and the growth of this game can only help the growth of gaming as an industry which is always good because gaming as an industry as it turns out pretty good as it come as it pertains to entertainment I mean there are some pretty shitty entertainment businesses out there whoops kinda of bumped into my uh, mouse there for a second sorry about that missed that Zorglin getting completely toasted and another Hellion coming out so we're gonna see a little bit of Hellion pressure coming out a miracle being a little bit of a douche, but you know, whatever is gonna happen, you're just gonna have to roast that zergling. And then going to have to go into the base where there are zero spine crawlers, but there are roaches. So there's gonna be a heavy roach push. It looks like a five roach, six roach, seven roach. Yeah, seven roaches. Actually, eight roaches is coming up because there's two on the incubating, if you will. And we've got just kind of three hellions just kind of chilling here. Drusiv definitely going for a more macro-oriented build. We'll see how he will be able to fend off this big roach push that is inevitably coming because he's got eight roaches. And there they go. So we'll have to see. 
what goes on. He does have a factory. He is getting a siege tank out, but he doesn't have siege mode coming up yet. He has... Oh, there we go. I was going to say he has the uh, resources for it, and there it comes up. But it will not get here in time unless these uh, Hellions can do a little bit of harassment, which they decide not to do because they just saw their friend get completely smashed in the face. Which is, you know, that's fine. I can understand that. We got uh, four little SCVs coming down here to try and make sure that uh, this stuff stays alive. Gonna have some repair going down on that Hellion. Some repair is gonna go down very, very hard on these supply depots. I can only imagine because here come the roaches and here's a big push. Eight roaches, non-upgraded though, and that tank is going to do so much damage. Down goes the supply depot and in come all the roaches. They're probably going to do so much damage. Down go both Hellions. But there's SCVs repairing the tank and the tanks are actually not attacking what they need to. They're attacking the Zerglings. Not what you want. You want them attacking those roaches to do maximum damage. How much damage do they do? Well, we don't know quite yet. We'll find out right now. They do 35 damage and then 50 versus armored in that with that siege mode. And it looks like the roaches might go down... Oh, two and one, bang. Oh, two health. Down it goes. SCVs repairing the crap out of that tank. Is there one more Zergling left? Boom. Oh, wait, no, he's going to attack it with the SCV. Very intelligent. to not let that siege tank kill his own SCVs. Which is a pretty big problem in the lower leagues. He just kind of put some Zerglings in the mineral line, hold position, and tanks will just shell the crap out of those SCVs. But that supply depot does go back up, so there are only... There's only one Marine there, but that's all he needs because that supply depot is not going to go down with all these SCVs kind of churning about. Let's see how many SCVs versus uh, drones. We can see that actually Drusif has more SCVs than Miracle has drones, which I guess that means that that was an all-in. It was a kind of bad all-in, honestly, because once you made another 20-something Zerglings, that's not what you want to do. Not a good idea to make 24 Zerglings, I believe that's 24? No, 24, 20, okay, that's 8. 16, 24, 5, 26, 27 Zerglings. I can count. Great placement for that siege tank. Just, just barely there so that it can get right here. Right where the uh, ramp starts to give you vision, it's going to get a shell to the face, and that's perfect position for what you want with that. And I don't know what these Zerglings are going to do. They need to get morphed into Banelings so that they can do a Baneling bus, but even then, a couple tanks, that's going to murder the crap out of that. And here we have some misrallied overlords, I think. I can only believe that that's what happens, and he's going to lose an overlord. And Drusip is going to return some of that BM, but looks like this overlord is going to get away scot-free. And it's counting its lucky stars here. Just kind of like, oh my gosh, I almost died. A horrible death right there. Two more tanks coming out, and two more barracks coming down as well. We have an engineering bay over here just for this uh, missile turret, I think, just to try and fend off any kind of mutilus harass. One missile turret probably won't do the trick. But then again, he is spending a lot of He did spend a lot of gas on those roach. Player tech coming up right now, so we've got to see what uh, he's going to do with that Banelings mess finally finishing right around the same time as the layer what is the layer doing it's not doing anything it's just getting injected larva into and now Joseph is saying that's enough I think I'm gonna take this expansion a little late but luckily for him for miracle has not expanded pretty much at all but for miracle has gotten the drone count advantage which is what you want to see when you're a zerg player we also have Joseph with four tanks that are not sieged. That's not what you want to see. You usually want to see those things sieged up whenever you n whenever you uh, aren't moving them. Because they just do so much more damage grouped up like that. Although, you might want to spread them out a little bit as Banelings are coming. He does not know that, though, as his scouting formation is pretty bare. He does, however, know that he is only on two bases. One Zergling taking that lone Zelnaga tower... And a lone Zergling taking the other. It's not, I guess it's not a lone Zelnaga Tower, is it? It's a, a dual Zelnaga Tower. But a big push out of one Hellion, four SCVs, six tanks, and uh, 12 Marines. Actually, there's, uh, there's five. Actually, there's more. Holy crap, that's a lot of SCVs. 
I don't know if that's a great idea, honestly. You might want to... Oh my god, that's so many Banelings. We'll have to see what these Banelings do, because this is going to be interesting to see. He's not sieged up. Those Banelings will do so much damage if he doesn't siege, they're going to roll in there. Is it going to siege up in time? No, it's not. Banelings running their faces into the freaking tanks. Not doing nearly as much damage as they want to. But here come some more Banelings. They're going to take out most of the Marines. Only one tank left. And it looks like this is going to get cleaned up fairly easily, but not until Drusev has done a little bit more harassing. A Hellion and SCV. <laughs> the SCV repairing the Hellion and the Hellion just kind of doing five, what is it, five damage each time this happens. Oh my gosh. Ooh, three Mutalists on the field. Are there any more? That's not what I wanted to see. Four Mutalists on the field. And Miracle is going to continue with the BM. Free tank for the Mutalists, free SEV, and also a free Hellion. So that's a pretty good response by from Miracle, but he is only on two bases, and his Terran opponent is also on two bases, and that is not what you want to see. I don't think from Miracle has any, pro any uh, not proxy, but macro hatcheries. Let's see, let's see what he got. He's got two gas geysers. Um, didn't he have a geyser here? What happened? Oh, I guess it died. Hmm, I guess he focused fire down on it. Not, not a bad idea. Gonna try and retard the progress of those mutalisks. As there are about five on the field at this point, I think. Six. And I continue the tradition of being exactly one mutalisk incorrect. Gonna fly into the back of the base, but there's no SCVs here, actually. And a missile turret for his trouble is going to lose these SCVs. Or well, not these SCVs, but the mutalisks. For basically free. Oh, going to lose that SEV. And here comes some Stim Marines. And here comes a Mutalisk flying directly over the Terran's base. Lucky, lucky, lucky Mutalisk. Oh my gosh, so many SCVs. Holy oversaturation, Batman. That is a lot of SCVs. And in comes some Mutalisk, but they're going to die horribly as there is also a missile turret there. Oh, but he loses all but two of his Mutalisks. Only one more in production. The gas intake very much restricted at the at this point. No meta up. Oh, I was just gonna say. <coughs> excuse me. So successfully fending off those mutalisks. Let's see what else he's got. He's not gonna wait for anything else. He's gonna move out with all of these big, scary, pushy marines. That's a lot of marines, and actually, he won't push out with them because Miracle leaves the game. It's very strange. That he would leave the game. I guess he decided that there was no way he was going to be able to defend such a big push after losing absolutely all but one or two of his mutalisks. There they are. Those two mutalisks not going to do any damage. So great, great defense by Jerusalem to take care of that big early um, roach all-in, actually. It was an all-in because there's no way that Miracle was going to be able to come back after that at Diamond League play with only what, half as many workers? I mean, he is Zerg, but Terran is pretty good, as many people have said. So this has been Osborne bringing you this Terran versus Zerg matchup, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it, please, please, please subscribe to the stream. Also the stream, the stream, I also have a stream, it's called, it's on uh, Twitch TV slash Osborne, spelled directly, spelled exactly as it's spelled in my YouTube, but also subscribe to my YouTube I uh, have a lot of cast. I have a lot of fun with uh, teams. If you like watching that kind of stuff, just uh, subscribe. So I'll uh, see you guys later.